What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Liquidator, coming back with another video. So it looked like Caitlin Clark's new job is definitely turning heads, and this Unrival League is not doing with the hot pursuit of Caitlin Clark. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up to Indy. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to everybody on the channel, man. Hope everybody had a good, safe Halloween. It is the first of the month, and it's right back to action, bruh. That is Caitlin Clark in this Unrival League. Now, we know yesterday big news dropped that the Unrival League president was not done with filling these roster spots. They added six more available players to take part in this Unrival League. Now, he stated that. Caitlin Clark would more than likely have a spot. Now, his ports is starting to come out that Caitlin Clark could be pondering on joining this league. Teammate Aaliyah Boston has joined the league. Teammate Leslie Hall has joined this league. And none other than Caitlin Clark College teammate Kate Martin has decided to join this league as well. Now, I'm here to tell you, dog, I don't know no more. Now, I know at first I was all like, you know what? Caitlin ain't finna do it. I don't think she's finna do it. Well, new incentives and new stuff is getting done behind the scenes to potentially make Caitlin rub her hands like Birdman and pick up this bag real quick. Now, the league is only 10 weeks long. Now, I heard it's supposed to be like some Olympic style. All the ladies will be staying together. It's one designated spot for the whole 10 weeks. This would be a way... Kayla Clark to get to know a lot of people in the league a little bit better. That could kind of help with the bullying of Kayla Clark. But at the end of the day, there is no guarantees in her actually joining this league. But one thing I can tell you that Kayla Clark is definitely busy getting to the bag, doing golf, and definitely doing her new job, which we're going to talk about in a hot second because her new job currently has her all over the headlines. And I'm here to tell you, I knew Caitlin was getting to the bag. But I ain't know she was getting to the bag like this. I don't think nobody knew Caitlyn was getting to the bag like this. I mean, Caitlyn is Scrooge McDuck right now with money. She don't need the money. Trust me. She get paid just to speak. Yes. Now, let's dive into this Unrival League story real quick. Before we get into Caitlyn Clark's new job, I'm here to tell you, bro, this one is groundbreaking. Let's pull up what the Arrival League put together for Kayla Clark again. So it stated, Arrival reportedly offered Kayla Clark $1 million in salary in addition to significant equity. Kayla Clark and Unrival have had high-level conversations about her joining the league. Now, I'm telling y'all, that is word on the street right now. Kayla Clark is in communication with On3 and joining this league. At first, Caitlin ain't say nothing about joining this league. Well, when her teammates and pot the star joining the league, probably doing a little greasing out of gears, trying to get her to join the league, bro. It looked like she is definitely in conversations with them based off several reports. This isn't just one. This is several reports all over social media. It's that Kayla Clark is significantly in talks with the Unrivaled League. Now, the article goes on to say about her joining the emerging three-on-three -three basketball league. Sources said today, with the offer believed to include significant equity in the business and a three-month salary of $1 million. My God, Kayla get to the bag. On a day that the league is expanding its rosters from 30 to 36, those sources said Unrival has told Kayla she can take as long as she needs. Now, Yesterday, when we did the story, they did say that the final roster spot will be announced on November the 20th. That's about a week before Thanksgiving, right before the holidays kick off. This will be big if Kayla Clark feel that last spot. I hey, I'm not saying that she is, but as of right now, everything changed, bro. And that is crazy. Now, the article goes on to say 
to decide, mindful of the grind Clark has endured over the past year as a collegiate player and rookie in the WNBA, but the rival has also strategically signed two of Caitlin Clark's close friends, fever teammates Lexi Hall and former Iowa teammate Kate Martin to recent contracts. And according to sources, speculation is Caitlin Clark is 60-40 to saying yes. My God. Have they tried standing outside her house with the stereo? Perhaps well, it's Del Pori Ray. Yeah, man. So that's what it's looking like as of right now, man. Look like Caitlin is 60 40, whatever that means. But uh I don't I still don't see her doing it, man. The type of money Caitlin is making right now, I don't see her joining this league. But hell, you never know. You know the old saying, what's better than money? New money, man. Moving on to the Next story, that is Caitlin Clark's new job. And I'm telling you right now, she is definitely getting to the bag. Let's pull it up right now. Oh, yes, this is the story. Caitlin Clark virtual speaking fee starts at $100,000. So far, I've seen Caitlin Clark book for four in-person conferences. Research Technologies, Massachusetts Conference for Women's, Becker's Healthcare Annual ASC, National Conference for Women, 400K minimum. Wow. Wow. A big story in the U.S. is that Kayla Clark is not being included on the women's basketball Olympic team. A lot of her fans' base is very upset about it. Now, this is going back to, like, the Olympics thing. We're going to skip past that. What these fans are not aware of is how much money she makes in speaking fees. We contacted her organization to speak for 30 minutes virtually as part of Gaining the Edge Global Cap Intro 2024. We said she could speak any business day over a six-week period and pick any time before 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. We were told her virtual speaking fee started at $100,000 which was over a, our budget. She makes more than 30 minutes, virtually speaking, than she does in over a 40-game WNBA speak season. So that means to tell me, you dig? This means to tell me, Caitlin Clark makes, right, $100,000 to speak for 30 damn minutes. And we sitting up here arguing, and debating if she finna join the Sun Rival League. Caitlin Clark make $100,000, think about this, to speak for 30 damn minutes. My God. Goes on to say, I am sure she is disappointed at not being selected for the team, but imagine what her speaking fee income will be during her break. Now, yeah, I remember the post earlier when it said that uh Caitlin Clark is already booked for four. That's four hundred thousand. My understanding, a hundred thousand dollars is a, for virtual appearance, much more for in time person. Now, Caitlin Clark did an in person event, I believe, yesterday as well. If I'm not mistaken, bro. Now we don't know how much the in person of uh, speaking engagement is, but I'm pretty sure she did one yesterday because there was photos floating around online. <sighs> Let me see real quick. See, here go, here go one right here. Kayla Clark low key going viral on LinkedIn. See, Kayla Clark is doing these speaking events all over. The two virtual pairs and four and one speaking events, 600k minimum, bro. Look at how much money she making. Shout out to CC, AKEG. This little Twitter account right here. Look, look, key no conversation professional. Look, Kayla Clark booked up, bro. Get into that bag. These are all different speaking events. They did a lot of work in tracking a lot of this information down. Look, women's of heart. Look, Kayla Clark speaking event. So these are the fly. Here we go. Here we go, right here. So this are the one. So this was yesterday. So this was Kayla Clark in person speaking at a speaking event yesterday. This crazy, bro. This is crazy. There was more pictures of her 
at this event too. But as y'all can see, Kayla Clark is definitely getting to the bag. Um, shout out to my wife, man, for helping me redo the studio here. Uh, we still kind of get all the kinks and stuff out. So um, I'm just trying to, you know, upgrade the channel, kind of make it look a little better. You know, it's just me running this whole thing. And um, I just try to do the best I could do, try to compete with myself, try to be the best creator I could be. Shout out to Kayla Clark. Shout out to the Fever. Shout out to all the sponsors on the channel, man. Um, but yeah, uh, it's up, man. We finna close out this year strong. Get ready for college basketball season, which is this month. You know, we finna turn up on the channel, bro. So if you guys are new here, click the like button. I'm one of the fastest news droppers in the world. Um, if you want to be up to date on news, come join the family. For the start a live show every week, and we for the turn up here on the channel, man. It's only up from here, y'all. I'm here to tell you, John and Liquid that are shaking off all the haters. 100k, we on the way, but did but definitely get down in the comment section. Let me know y'all thoughts about this. And always remember, I only got one channel, I don't have three, four, five, six. This is it. There is no you know, like I got one little alt channel, but that ain't really nothing. There's only one channel, bro, I'm working out of doing my numbers with. And always remember, until next time, shake the haters off. We coming. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake the haters off.